In this example, we are introduced to complementary events. And the complement of an event is the probability that an event will not occur. So for example, if I said there is a 30% chance that it will rain tomorrow, that also means that there is a 70% chance that it will not rain tomorrow. The probability of an event occurring we symbolize as P of E. Its complement can be symbolized with P of E and then we put this little C uh, to the C power. Now there are other ways that the, the complement can be symbolized, but we'll stick with this one. And then this can be generalized as the probability of E complement that's going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of event occurring. So 70% chance that it will not rain. Well, that's 100% minus 30% that it will rain. And in many circumstances, often it is much simpler to determine the probability of something not occurring than occurring. And that's what this example demonstrates. It says, suppose at a college job fair, the engineering department is sponsoring several tables for companies recruiting future graduates. At one of the tables, the department has a bowl filled with 30 courtesy lollipops. 15 are grape flavored, 7 are lime flavored, and 8 are cherry flavored. Visiting the table, a student randomly grabs 3 lollipops. What is the probability that at least two of the lollipops are the same flavor? So certainly we can see here that there are 30 lollipops. A student's going to go up and they're going to randomly grab three of them. So they're going to be selecting three. 15 of them are grape. Seven are lime. And eight are cherry. Now the key here is it says, what is the probability that at least two of the lollipops are the same flavor. So I'm going to demonstrate at least two of the same flavor with a sample space here. So the student can go ahead and grab three lollipops. He can get all grape. He can grab three lollipops and two of them can be grape. And one of them can be lime. Or he can grab three lollipops and two of them can be grape and one can be cherry. Or you can grab three lollipops and they're all cherry. So this sample space, if I was to go ahead and list all the possible ways where at least two of the lollipops are the same flavor, this sample space will continue. However, the complement to at least two of the lollipops are the same flavor, the complement to this is none are the same flavor. And what would that look like? Well, that must mean that one of them's got to be grape, one of them's got to be lime, and one of them's got to be cherry. That's the only possible way that that can occur. Now, don't forget, these are combinations, so the order doesn't matter. But if he grabs three lollipops, there's only one way he can get one of each flavor. That's the complement of this over here. At least two are the same flavor. So rather than determine each possible outcome here for the sample space, we're just going to find this. So we know that there are 30 lollipops. The student randomly grabs three. That's going to be 30. Choose three. So then what's the probability one of them's grape, one of them's lime, and one of them's uh, cherry? Well, there are 15 grape. That's 15. Choose one. 15. Choose one. 15 different ways he can grab a grape. Seven are lime flavored. Seven choose one, that's seven. That one of them's lime. And of course, eight are cherry. Eight choose one, that's eight different ways he can grab a cherry one. And of course, according to their fundamental counting principle, 15 ways to grab a grape, seven ways to grab a, grab a lime, and eight ways to grab a cherry, we just multiply. So then, of course, on our calculator, I'll do 15 times 7 times 8, 840. I'll go ahead and then divide by 30, choose 3, that's 30. Use our probability key. 
choose three and hit enter. So there's approximately 0.2069 probability that he grabs one of each flavor. But we don't want this. We want this. We want everything else. So what do we do? Well, we simply subtract that from one. So on my calculator, I'm just going to go one minus, and if I use my second key, and you can see right down here we have ANS, I'm just going to go second answer, and it'll subtract the, lance, the last answer that popped up. Of course, you could go ahead and type it in, but I just think this is a nice shortcut, and hit enter. So the probability of getting at least two of the lollipops with the same flavor, that's 79.31%. So the idea of using a complement of a probability works well when we are addressing a scenario that has something like at least or a more than circumstance. Because rather than dealing with several outcomes, we can use the complement to simply ease our work. And there we go.